Mm, flute synth. I don't know about that one. Pulsator. Yeah, we won't be able to use that in our song. Let's see if we can. Rewind it to the beginning and record. I don't know about that sound, not wild about it. But one of the cool things about MIDI, when you record these notes, these little pictures, and when we double clicked we saw the actual notes there, are really just the notes played on the keyboard. They're not the sound. The sound is being generated in real time by our virtual instrument, so we can change the sound after the fact. We can go back into that thing and edit that virtual instrument and say, yeah, I don't know about that sound. Let's pick a different one. That might be better. Yeah, let's try it. Let's put that guy down there. Go ahead and hit play and um, hear, hear if it works. That's much better. Definitely a weird sound, but just for now, humor me. However, you notice that he's ahead of the beat. You see that? If I double click on that and do a little zooming in, the little fellow is ahead of the beat every time. He's ahead of the downbeat, and it's really noticeable on that kind of sound. So I could go in and manually move each of those notes till they're on the beat, or I could use a feature called Quantize. So I'm going to go here to the Quantize button, and Quantize Notes starts to eighth notes. Here we go. Oops. You have to select them or select the All button. I'm going to do All to eighth notes. You can see just, I don't know if you saw that, but instantly all of the notes jumped right to the correct eighth note. They are no longer off the beat. If I hit Play now... <laughs> They're right on the beat. Pretty cool. A little bit of weird harmonic action going on there, but hey. All right, let's add another track. Click here, Virtual Instrument. Make another Virtual Instrument track, and um, try out one of our other Virtual Instruments. One of the ones I really like here is the VB3 organ. Bring that guy up, and it's a Virtual B3 Hammond organ. Draw bars, Leslie. It's really cool. If we go through the presets on that thing. Lots of cool sounds. Another interesting tidbit here is if your controller keyboard is more than just a keyboard, like it has a pitch mod wheel on it and maybe some buttons, this sound responds to the mod wheel. So if I um, hold down some notes and then move the mod wheel up, that switches the Leslie from fast to slow. Also, my Axiom keyboard has a bunch of sliders on it, and the furthest right slider is assigned to MIDI volume. If you look on the screen, you can see the volume knob is changing on my virtual instrument here. So I can turn those things up and down. I'm going to control a few other things as well, mapped from the um, Axiom keyboard. Pretty cool. I can also change the programs if my keyboard controller has a program change button, which this one does. I'm going to select the program button and then hit the plus key and audition some presets. That's pretty cool. I don't have to sit here with my mouse and pull down um, new things from the, the menu. I can just hit the next button or the plus or minus buttons on my USB keyboard controller to go to the next preset. Pretty cool. I like this one. Play with that, that uh, mic distance there. I really like that sound right there. Let's add a track of that. I'm going to play with the volume slider and the uh, mod wheel, Leslie, while playing it. Let's see what it sounds like. I'm 
not sure that was, you know, fine art again, but hey, you can do much better. All right, one more instrument we can add, um, and let's turn down the volume a little bit more. And that instrument will be um, the final one in the set here. So I'm going to add a virtual instrument track. Click on the little instrument icon, go to instruments, and add the Mini Moog VA or Mini Moog virtual analog synth. Before I do that, though, take a look at what the next option is here. It says external devices. For those of you that have hardware MIDI synths around, you know, your Korg, Triton, Yamaha Motif, whatever, or cool old stuff that has a MIDI jack on it, you can use those in your compositions um, by sending the MIDI you record in these tracks out some MIDI out jack connected to your computer. So you can see I've got a couple of them here. I've got a, the PreSonus Firebox has a MIDI out, and my Axiom keyboard has a MIDI out. So I could plug a cable from those to our the MIDI in on my hardware synth and then get the audio into an audio track here and record that. Could be fun to play with. If you have one of those, you probably know what I just said. The rest of you can ignore that. Back to our Mini Moog Virtual Analog. Going to do the same deal. And look at this. A really cool looking uh, emulation of the original Mini Moog synth. So this one has effects and a bunch of other things that are fun. Arpeggiator. But that's the sound I'm looking for right there already. So we'll go ahead and close that window. Go back to the beginning and make some noise with this thing. Here we go. Whoops. Accidentally recorded on top of my organ track. Ah, what do I do? Well, I'm going to hit the undo key. So I can either go up to mix undo or hit control Z on my keyboard. I'm going to hit undo. Disarm that track, arm our mini mode. There he is. And back to the beginning and hit record. That's silliness, but you get the idea. Sounds really cool. Now that we've made a composition using virtual instruments, we're not limited to those. We could also scroll down here to our real instrument tracks and head to the library and add drums and percussion and all sorts of things to that, or even record live instruments. But um, I wanted to show you how to use virtual instruments. There it is.